Hey everyone, Tony here from NitroPlanes.com and I have the new sample here by Dynamics, the AT6. Uh, this model is a five channel model. reason it's a five channel is it now has retracts, you guys can see here. Um, they work fine uh, back when I was building it, you know, no problems at all. Uh, this plane does come with four servos, two on aileron, one on elevator, one on rudder. All these are your standard 9 gram uh, Dynam servos. Has a 12 by 6 prop, you guys can see here, should be uh, very efficient. Uh, has, I believe it's the same motor as the P51 uh, that I did uh, the review on a while back. I believe the speed control should be about a 35 amp speed control. Um, uh, the battery it's going to be using is a 3 cell 2200 uh, 20C battery. It's your standard uh, with Dynam that always comes in. So, not much more else to say. Uh, easy accessible hatch, and once again, Dynam did a good job on pleasing on the detail, all the panel lines, very nice. Uh, Dynam's just getting better and better all the time. Uh, like I said, easy, or easy removable hatch uh, here for your batteries, and I believe you can actually fit about a, uh, probably uh, when we actually get the production, I'll probably try flying it with the 2600 battery uh, to show you guys that it is possible. So uh, let me plug her in and show you how she flies. I right, got the battery hooked up, and let me show you guys how she flies. A little bit out of trim, wants to dip down and to the right, but not much of a problem. I'll trim her out. Come back on the power a little bit. It's a very stable model. Actually, I didn't believe it was going to be as powerful as it is. I was expecting a little bit less power, so that's the plus. I really enjoy flying the AT6 just because how responsive the uh, rudder is. It makes it, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can really have fun with this model. Not saying, you know, if you don't know how to use a rudder, you can't have fun with, but it's a plane that uh, gets you um, a little bit more comfortable using the rudder because uh, it demands just so much of it. Aerobatics uh, is doing very well with actually, um, you know, they're pretty basic uh, rolls, loops, whatnot. Uh, it's handling them really well. Uh, low speed isn't bad at all. I'll perform a little bit low speed. And not too bad at all. Doing very well, which I would imagine having that big wing. I'll do, I'll perform a touch and go. That was a touch and there we go. It is an AT6, so you do want to come in with a negative uh, nose down attitude. That's what I've noticed with almost all the AT6s.
pretty well balanced I'm noticing on the invert I don't need too much up elevator so the plane's uh, pretty well balanced out of the box and we'll come in for the landing and, and this quick preview Even though the initial touchdown wasn't bad, don't give up. Uh, proceed and be consistent and try for that great landing at the end. Um, really quick uh, questions I want to answer because I'm sure you guys are going to ask when this plane is going to be available. I'm not sure on. We don't have a date on price as well. We don't have uh, a price on it yet.